So in this video, we'll discuss how to find the Z, T, Chi and F distribution, how to find their scores or to find their critical values. So in this video, we're going to look at them step by step, how to find the Z, T, Chi and F distribution. I'm Nathaniel, let's get started. So for the Z, let's assume everything is going to be the same, but let's use only one example. Let's assume we want to find the level of significance, we want to find the critical value with a level of significance, 5% level of significance of 0.05. So we need to ask ourselves, so the first thing we need to do to find the alpha of 0 0.05, it can be 0 0.01, it can be anything. So for as long as we're dealing with a Z, Z distribution, what we do, the first thing to do is what distribution we're dealing with. So we're dealing with a Z. Okay, that's good. The next thing we need to do is, um, what tail is it? Is it one tail? or two tail so that's what we need to ask ourselves first as so as long as we're dealing with a z distribution so this is z distribution we need to ask ourselves is it one or two tail we need to find out first is it one or a two tails test so after finding that so the next thing we need to do is to go to the table and find the z for 0 0.05 and that gets your answer and then get the critical value for that from the tables so let's do it 0 .0, 0 0.05 alpha so now we are dealing with a z test now for a z test with alpha value of 0 0.05 so this is what we we'll do okay we're dealing with a one tail okay that's good now for a one tail please pay attention to this for a one tail all we do is subtract it from one 1 minus 0 0.05 and then we'll get the value 0 0.9500 add that 0 to it so this is what we get now all we need to do because we're dealing with a one tail test we subtract it directly from one so we go to the table the z table and find this and then we to find the area under the curve so we we have a bell shaped curve like this and all we are doing is finding this is the rejection region so this is the rejection region so all we are doing is we are finding the area under the curve here where is this 0 0.05 0 0.9 um, 0 0.9500 we are looking for the area under the curve here so once we find the area here this zero is going to be somewhere around here 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 there are so many dots inside so it's going to be here or here remember what dr Efes said in class so everything here is going to be like that so we're going to find 0 0.95 is going to be somewhere around here and all we do is just find the value and trace it and then we'll get our answer so let's go to my z table now you can you can see that you need to pay attention to the diagram this is this is a full z table this is the rejection region and this is the region that we are looking at the acceptance region so this is the rejection region and this is the acceptance the full acceptance region so that is why i subtracted it from one one minus 0 0.05 because i am using the full table this is one everything here is one so you need to pay attention because if you are looking at a table like this that has this under like and this is the shaded region like this then you are not supposed to subtract it from one you're supposed to subtract it from something else so but you can see this is not full but this one is full one everything here is equal to one probability one so if the table is half maybe the table is like this for example then we are not dealing with one you need to subtract it from whatever the um, fraction is so i haven't said that so please pay attention to the table you are using that is the reason why you find somebody um 
um, um, doing the right thing and finding the area under the curve but the answers will not tally is because they are using a wrong area under the curve so make sure you pay attention to that so let's go to the positive you can see it now this is the positive side this is what we are looking for this is um the acceptance region and this is the rejection region full is the complete one and this is one one probability so now let's look for the area under the curve 0 0.0.95 um, 0 so we're looking for 0 0.9500 so how we do it is you can see that the the table increases the z table increases progressively like this like this you see six this is seven check you see eight so we're looking for nine oh see nine we're looking for nine five this is nine two nine three nine four we're getting close nine five so you can see that nine five is somewhere in between see this is zero point um four nine like this is four five is here five so this is the answer basically this is the, the we don't have five we don't have zero zero but the closest we have is zero five so we take this we take what we have you can't be too accurate we take what we have so all we now do is trace here up and trace here to the side so this is it here zero one point six and zero point five so what we now do is 1.6 plus 0 0.05 if you add that you get the answer so the answer is 1.65 that is the and the so this is the area under the curve and then we'll just trace it here you can see basically all we are saying is that all these letters here all these alphabets all these um numbers you are seeing here everything here all the numbers here 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 they are inside this place here they are inside this place here all these numbers we here you can see here everything here is inside here so all we do is just find that exact location which we have done here so that's the answer we've got our answer to so the critical value for a one tail 0.05 alpha value with a z distribution is 1.65 so that's how everything is going to look like so how about the um okay so don't forget the table will be in the description so make sure you check the um description the of this video you see the um the link to downloading all the tables i used for this video i found it online and you can use it to to just go there download the table and use it if you don't have a table already or you want to use this exact table i use for this video it's going to be in the link in the description so let's continue now the second question for a two-tail test now or the first thing we knew what distribution z um how many tails two tail now this is going to look different now all we need to do is divide alpha over two so alpha over two for two tails meaning that we need to divide this by two first before we even start so if we divide 0 0.05 by two we would get 0 0.025 so this is what we get 0 0.025 now getting 0 0.025 that is what this is what we subtract from one we can't because we're dealing with a two tail test we can't subtract um one from it directly that will be a one tail test so you need to look in the question two tail test we divide the alpha by two first before subtracting it from one so now we can do one minus 0 0.025 now one minus 0 0.025 that will be 0 0.975 this is what we look for in the table this value here you can use your calculator you get it 0. Point. this is what the area under the curve that will look at because the curve is like this and for a two tail test for a two tail test this is alpha over two and this is alpha over two 
it's not the same with a one tail test a one tail test is just alpha but for a two tail test it's alpha over two so we need to divide this by two first before we subtract it from one i hope that is clear so now let's find this value in the table so now this is a table and we're not, i'm not looking at negative but i'm looking for positive so i go to the positive section and i look for 0 0.975 you can see the table will be increasing 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 nine four nine five nine six so nine three nine four i'm looking for nine five this is the exact so we have the exact area under the curve so all we do is find this value and we trace it up here and we trace it down here so that is one so we have one point nine plus zero this one here zero point zero six and you add that you get one point nine six so that's the answer so that's the answer so the critical value for a two tail test zero point zero five alpha value and the z under the curve is one point nine six so that's the answer